Hello and welcome back to the barn. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it let me know any way that's convenient for you. So in tonight's episode I'm going to be making some sawhorses for the new miter station. I'm choosing sawhorses to save on space in the barn so stay tuned and thanks for watching. So I've kind of got a game plan. I'm going to cut a bunch of four foot lengths of two by four and run it through the planer just to make them flatter because um, I am actually kind of worried about how well um, how well these saw horses are coplanar with the um, saw bed here. So I do I would like for these to actually be kind of nice saw horses. Um, so I'm going to cut bunch of two by fours into four foot lengths run them through the planer and then assemble it and it's very simple construction I did like a little baby drawing so <laughs> that's kind of what it'll look like I'm gonna put the legs on the side that way over time they won't hopefully they'll be a little bit more sturdy than if you they were, they were to be laying flat like this less surface area but more rigidity in the um, uh, in the direction that I'm looking for. So yeah, let's hop back into it. So battery died during the time lapse. Um, I was in the middle of making the second one and GoPro battery died, unfortunately, but this one is a little bit more like flush, I'd say. There's maybe a 32nd of an inch. And this one is maybe more closer to a 16th of an inch hanging over, maybe even, maybe in an eighth. But that's actually okay because as you progress further this way, it's sloped. So say if I was going to like pull this out so that it's, it's actually flat, it's sitting flat on the bed because there's that much of a difference in the floor there. And I went with this because I can consolidate it nicely, I suppose. I can just slide this forward up against there and I've got, you know, I've got all this room now to play with. So it solves the problem of being able to catch longer stock without taking up more space. Sweet. Um, that was like probably the first time I've done proper milling. Um, with the new setup, um, that was pretty hefty amount. Um, dust collection's okay. I give it like a solid six out of ten. It still shoots stuff out, but I think that that's just this planer. It's just not. It doesn't have like a a very like solid dust collection um, or dust management sort of um, capability. But anyway. I'm thinking about getting another one of these little shop vacs just for general um, cleaning of everything because now all my shop vacs are preoccupied. I pulled this one out to do a little bit of, oh geez, look at that, uh oh, ah. 
See, this is the trouble. This is the trouble. There we go. That's the ticket. Okay. Now we're all the way back. All right. <laughs> About 20 minutes left in the shop. Oh, you can see the wire there. Wow, hot mess today. All right. I think I might use some of this material to make uh, rudimentary hooks. So that actually works pretty well. Cannot complain about that. I mean, for costing maybe a couple cents in lumber and using offcuts, can't can't complain too much. I'm just trying to like find homes for things, you know, just I've got all this like this whole shelf underneath here is full of junk. This whole shelf underneath here is full of junk. There's a bunch of junk underneath here. And so I'm just trying to kind of, I know where everything is, um, but, and I can find things fairly easily, but it's just, I just, you know, just this awkward shaped stuff, you know, that I'm always shuffling around like, I don't always use this. I only use this when I'm like really seriously sort of building things like with screws. And I hope to be done with that very, <laughs> very soon. I think this is actually the last night of like weird half inch ply and two by four construction. The plan is I'm gonna start making furniture and posting roughly once a week, maybe once every couple weeks. And I wanna really focus on video quality. So like no more GoPro, only use the GoPro for um, time lapses, cause I like the time lapses better. Um, I like the wide angle on the time lapses. I think, I think it looks like a lot cooler. And so the very first furniture project, I'm gonna try and make a chair with the leftover lumber, I got extra. So I wanna start playing around with this material and see if I can't make some neat designs and just play with, um, I suppose, style um, and just sort of whip something together. Uh, do some, uh, not even whip it together, just like actually practice joinery, actually practice, um, proper construction and maybe use some hand planes, things like that. Use hand tools again, you know, get, get back into the rhythm of creating things that are actually, um, not meant to take abuse. Like everything in here is meant to take abuse. Like I got extra sheets of plywood for when this, like I could replace, you know what I mean? Like I cut this hole in one of the early episodes that doesn't need to be there. I could replace this whole thing, but it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like all this stuff is just supposed to kind of, um, be used and abused over time. Yeah. So great success. Um, I think that the transformation of this shop has been really amazing over the last three or four weeks. 
because just at the beginning of this year, it's like late March right now. In late January, there was no OS beyond the walls. The planer is on wheels and rolling around. I didn't have a chop saw. I didn't have a router table. And this was in the middle of the shop. So it's like I, I didn't have a good place to put all my sharpening stuff. I didn't have a good place to put all of my just everyday tools. I didn't have this shelf. You know, the transformation has been amazing. And so I'm excited to get to work building things that um, will last. So with that, it's time to hit the off button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. I'm so confused by that.